So I played through these two right here. Video game and Dyson. Do you want to do both of these? And then I can do this one. Ah, uh, sure. So these maps are supposed to subvert my expectations. Yes. Yeah, so this one is called video game. I I saw I, I see that. <laughs> Oh, whoa, already, <laughs> already. So I have to explain what happened there was uh, my hand fell down too hard and my pinky like slammed into my right <laughs> mouse button and launched an alt ammo. Um, question. Yes. Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay, so security with impact font and drop shadow. <laughs> uh, briefing slash resupply. Now's when you use your alt ammo. Ugh. Success. I feel icky whenever I use the alt ammo. <laughs> Why? Because it was a Twitch channel meme back when I streamed on Twitch that I would never use alt ammo, and I never oh. <laughs> did once in my entirety of my playthroughs of Half-Life 2 and both of its episodes. Is this my subversion of expectations? No. I don't know why you always use the pistol. It's like the weakest weapon in the game. Well, here's the thing. It's right... It's like the most convenient hotkey for me. I have to leave. Not oh, very convenient when it gets you killed. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I, I don't even use hotkeys. I just use the scroll wheel. That is so cringe. I've been using the scroll wheel in every game I've ever played since, like the day I started playing video games. All right, I'm using the submachine gun, are you happy? Only if you keep using it and use the shotgun and the AR too once you get them and never equip the pistol again. <laughs> you should just unbind the hotkey for the pistol to be honest. I will not do that because the Magnum also resides in that hotkey. Oh gosh, dang it. Eh. Oh my gosh. Leave can't that entire it, thing in the video. Can't even <laughs> get into the vet. Watch, I'm gonna. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, wait, wait. Alt ammo. Be good. You're good. That's all you have to do to be good at video game. Right mouse button? Yes. <laughs> That's especially true in Destiny 2. Yeah. <laughs> Can't kill anything unless you're holding down right mouse button at all time. Contact security to unlock door. I assume this is the door that... Ooh, the break room. You're literally... Okay. I know, I did this just to annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> Lobby slash rollout. Player clip. Okay, break room. Do job, kill people, get paid. Find money. What? Hello? Subversion. <laughs> I guess this subverts my expectations. I wasn't expecting an aerial view. <laughs> Wait, you can you can look around. <laughs> you can use your mouse. All right, you gotta find the money. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> Embeds face into cash register. This. Uh... <laughs> They said get <laughs> they said find money. That's not money. Get real money. Ammo. Nine millimeter cartridges. You got the money. Buy bomb. <laughs> they keep the money in the freezer. Yep. There's a freezer in a bar. Yep. Uh buy bomb. Yeah. You've been in the bar too long. You've absorbed drunkness. I'm <laughs> yeah. You, Let me have, you caught the drunk from all the other people. Okay. 
away. (laughs) Is there a bomb store around here? Maybe I could buy one from the playground. No, children don't typically sell explosives. These are the tallest children I've ever seen. Not that one on the merry-go-round. He's like half your size. Yeah, but he's still built like an adult. (laughs) Deus Ex children. Oh my gosh. It's literally (laughs) just the adult model just shrunk down. Uh, Not to mention the voice actors are just adults trying to sound like kids anyway. Oh, literally bomb store. (laughs) With like 2007 cool guy Counter-Strike font. Give me bomb. Destroy Map Labs HQ. <laughs> ah, don't do that. <laughs> no, stop it. Uh, so that's the headquarters, by the way. Yeah, I kind of realized that after I walked all the way around the map. Uh, how do I blow it up? Yes! That was easy. <laughs> I love the original Counter Strike Source voice acting. Terrorist swim. <laughs> oh, sick music. This is the outro music, guaranteed. Gordon Freeman, the savior of the universe. Tell us the story of how you saved this town. From the aliens. Well, it starts out like this I walked down this hallway, and there I was, in the middle of of a courtyard with two vortigaunts and an orange lighthouse. I walked <laughs> right by them, the end. Oh, I didn't walk right by this one. Oh, thank you. It's a good thing they have a break window lever. Everyone's just sitting by watching, except for that one Vortigaunt. Was that a person pretending to be an alarm? I think so. (laughs) That's the subversion of expectations we can expect. Uh, No. Welcome to Deceptionville. (laughs) Population this guy it sounded like someone was imitating a half-life one siren and then they like lowered the quality of audacity so that people would think it was actually (laughs) a half-life one sound okay so now this guy wants to tussle oh of course there are bullets in the sink also i like that this this map implies that gordon is telling this story to someone because you know He's mute. Yeah, here's the here's the question I have. It's like, this is the story of how Gordon saved the town from alien invasion. I'm like, there's nobody except for these two guys who I'm saving it on behalf of. And these guys are shooting me anyway. Time out. <laughs> Is this who I- Why did two of your people (laughs) attack me then? No, get back here. I want a public apology and an escort out of here. Gordon! Um... (laughs) This isn't exactly subverting my expectations. The eerie nature of this map made this the next logical step (laughs) oh so we're drowning now what's going on what have you done the savior of the universe you betrayed me (laughs) how disgusting was that because i shot the guy so it was supposed to be that all the aliens were actually people and you were hallucinating good morning mr laszlo Please proceed to lobby. Lobby. Wait, so he said good good morning, Mr. Laszlo. Are we Laszlo, the greatest mind of our generation? Yeah, it said uh, on the opening text, it said uh, subject Laszlo. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Gaius. And I'm Arnold. I'm here to help with the portal equations. Oh, and he isn't going to introduce himself, but uh, he's Dr. Iscariot. You liked the scientists two scientists ago in your room. 
Hasn't talked to a newbie since. It is nice to see someone in Philip's old room, though. Mr. Laszlo, please proceed to the observatory. Also, this is the skybox texture for City 17 when you're at the top of the citadel in the last level. Oh, hey, this is the place that we're at oh, in, that... in, the, in the video game. <laughs> uh... Okay. You know what I mean. Oh, it's that guy's fault. Why'd everybody stick out their arms when they press the button? Coil temperature's no longer within tolerance. Test failed. Return to your rooms. I mean, that's what he's best at. We're not gonna talk about that walk animation. But... Who wrote this on the sign? And how'd they do it so perfectly? <laughs> I wish I had... I don't want to go to bed after that. <laughs> Press E to go to bed. Uh, I guess that's where the, the person who wrote that got into our room from. The random secret door that we didn't know about. Bro, there's a regular door right on the front of the building. Yeah, but maybe they don't know how to lockpick. Good Day morning, two. Mr. Laszlo. Dr. Gaius, Dr. Arnold, and Laszlo, please proceed to the lab to begin the test. Well, I guess I rewrote my original equation. I mean, or the guy who did that could have rewrote it as well. I'm While just I was saying, sleeping? Um, this, is <laughs> just, this is just Arnold being a prankster. Okay, who do you think's gonna betray us? Who should I watch out for? It can't possibly be Arnold. Arnold's I don't a good guy. Who's Arnold? Who? Which one? Uh, the, he was wearing a red shirt. That's him. Assuming everyone gets them right, this should work. This is what you did as a research assistant. What's happening to his face? We don't talk about that. Wait, I'm supposed to be doing something. Yeah, you're supposed to be typing on the computer. Coil temperature's no longer within towers. Test failed. Hey, Arnold, you should probably run. <laughs> Laszlo's equation seemed to work. Was it something on your end? Wait, it worked? Of course. I don't get why it highlights everybody. There's something wrong with their walk animations and it's kind of unsettling. Yeah, they're like moonwalking forwards. I think it's that their walk speed isn't matching the speed they move their legs at or something. All right, I gotta go murder the retextured brain with something. Oh wait, he's going to bed. Man, we have short days. We just wake up. Do the experiment, go back to bed. <laughs> Why can't we just do the experiment again on the spot? It takes like two seconds to set it up. Can I go into other people's rooms and write things on there? No, you don't have the secret door access. Let's see what surprises our room has for us today. Oh wait, so the people who wrote on the wall are actual friendos? They're getting us out. Go, go, go. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is Fallout Vaults. Uh, these people don't actually go to sleep. They just all stand next to their beds. It's not bedtime yet. That's kind of creepy. What, are these androids? We woke up this morning and failed the experiment in 10 seconds. We all went back to our rooms and stood next to our beds until it was bedtime. <laughs> what do I do? That entire sentence you just said sounded just like a Mad Lib. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Is it like, is there some button I'm supposed to press? Or you could just go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. Not after seeing this. We'll go stand next to your bed. Be part of the crowd. Okay. You're doing great.
Can I jump into the painting? I can't sleep. Yeah, you Wait. can. It's oh. fading to black. I didn't see the fade at <laughs> Dr. Gaius, Dr. Iskra, and Laszlo, please proceed to the lab to begin the test. I'm on to you. That's Arnold! You can't... You can't accuse him. Let's just do the test. Hello? Test successful. Congratulations. At your leisure, please return to your rooms. It worked! Test Who successful, nothing happens. Test successful, go to bed again. Go stand next to your bed for seven and a half hours until it is bedtime. He has a white thing on his shoe. That bothers me a lot. He got toilet paper stuck to the bottom of his shoe. He must be so embarrassed. Oh man, I was gonna follow it. What was the experiment anyways? Nothing happened. Like, what were we trying to accomplish? Like... I don't know, but it worked, apparently. Hey, look, it didn't make an error sound. Bob, we're geniuses. Still doesn't do anything, but there's no errors. Tomorrow is the day. Change the destination. Why do these guys keep leaving the secret door open? And what is this? Wall ornament. Uh. Oh. Destinations, Outlands. What? Uh, okay. I changed the destination of the teleporter. That means it's bedtime. I'm not tired. I just woke up 10 minutes ago. They don't care. This is such a weird science facility. Why does everybody live here? And why do we have such strict bedtimes? Final day. Morning, Mr. Laszlo. Please proceed to lobby. I heard the coil coolant system was updated last night. Of course the test will be successful today. Don't ever say of course. We can't take anything for granted. Laszlo, please do the honors of selecting who should begin the test. Laszlo gets to pick? I guess that means it's Friday. <laughs> what? Of course. Select two scientists to conduct the final experiment. Who should I choose? Arnold, obviously, for one of them. It's up to you. Don't pick a scary though. Yeah, but it's so obvious that it can't be him. Because obviously they want you to not pick him. That's why they named him that. I'll save and we'll s subvert the subversion. I'm on to you. You and your pouty face. Bruh! <laughs> He's just trying to vibe. Today's the day I escape this horrible place. Bro, this is a conference. We could just go home afterward. Oh. How much you want to bet it is him? <laughs> I'm not gonna bet against my boy. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Watch it be we try like every possible combination and it just happens every time. Maybe we're just bad at testing. See? I bet it's him. I bet it's Red Shirt. No, it can't be. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use him this time. Screw you. Let's go. Arnold, you you better not be the betrayer. Why oh. do you like him so much? He's got a red shirt on. That's a, sim <laughs> that's a symbol of peace and tranquility. That doesn't mean I'm gonna bring it up every time. See? Oh my gosh! Arnold! Why? Wait, what? The simulated test was successful. 
Are With a few more hosts jail? from this world, our work will be done. Oh, so the test was supposed to fail. Because if it didn't, now we're abducted by aliens. I'm kind of confused, actually, about the result. But whatever. <laughs> it was still interesting. Okay, the nothing is yours. Oh, good. I'm good at nothing. I'm good at the nothing, especially. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's gonna be surprise horror. High voltage, contaminated area, every warning possibly at once, and blood, and graffiti. But it's the nothing. It should be just a vibe. You know? Oh good, it's nap time. It, see, it's the nothing, because there's zeros. Wait, ah, yes. you didn't look around the room. There's well, probably, to, like, got, a door I or something. Got a crowbar, I could... Subversion! Time out. You're in a movie studio. I wanna check something. Dang it, it's Why? just a brick wall. Why? Who builds a brick wall with, a, like, a peephole in it? <laughs> you were oh. in Hollywood oh. movie all along. Invisible uh, men, kill them. Who is this guy? Oh look, they're building maps. They're building Half-Life 2 maps with conveyor belts. <laughs> what the, did you see how fast he was? Yeah, he's a little zoomy boy. This is that one hallway from Willy Wonka. I don't remember hallways in Willy Wonka. Freeman saw a portal. Oh, of course we teleport onto the train. Oh, Ooh, hey, it's movies. just him. He's a lot taller than I oh, thought. Oh, we're inside the TV and you just killed him. Oh, and we broke out of the computer, and you you just killed the guy that was playing Half-Life 2. And fade to black. <laughs> I mean, apparently you didn't kill him. He was laying on the floor crying, so... All right, the next map is based on enemy YouTuber. <laughs> oh, jolly! Enemy spotted. <laughs> Find the button, click on it to open the door. You don't have much time. Be quick and good luck. Oh no. Eight, seven, six, five. Is this the button? That's a suitcase. Three. Oh, you screwed now. One. That's what the government wants you to think. I don't think the government has any say in our stupidity. Okay. Seven, Button. Six, five, there is no button. Eight, this is a lie. Two, you literally looked on one side of the room. There's arrows and stuff. And I looked on this side of the room last time. I swear, if I see the button before you do, I'm not telling you where it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I will subtly guide you toward it, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> What? You can't pick up the explosive barrels? I just wasted a bunch of time. I don't get it. There's no button! Okay. Alright, well... The subversion of expectations. Maybe there is no button and we're supposed to do something else. The timer hasn't started yet. Just start looking, start looking. Uh. Wait, what? 
Oh, it didn't load. It didn't load the voice line, but it's still. Maybe that it's was subversion of expectations. That's what we call a bug. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's no button. You don't have that to. That is a lie. What the arrows are. Maybe, maybe the button is the light bulb. It is not. All right, so I looked in that corner. I looked in that corner. Well, where else is there to look? The floor? Sure. I can't move this box because it's too big. Oh my gosh. What you if this is the have whole map? One life. What if this is the whole map and there's no actual button anywhere and there's nothing beyond that door? And now I'm stuck. And I got killed by fall damage. I don't understand. Oh, oh, wait, I think I see it. It's under the, the, this thing. But, but how the heck am I supposed to get under the cart? Crouch. I'm trying, the box is in the way and I can't move that one. It's too you big. You only have one life. But that took you forever. Open the door and move on. Open the door on your right. No, wait. Okay, the last time he said find the button and it was a lie, but this time... It literally wasn't a lie, you found it! Yeah, but it, well, there was arrows, I mean. That's not his fault! Okay, well, you can't open the door because it's locked, so it was a lie. Goodbye. Oh no, it's the cat. I can't hear you, dude. You didn't put a compressor on your voice line. <laughs> also, I like how the cat started a fire. He broke the fluorescent light. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Congratulations, you fell through the floor. The floor wasn't breaking the first time. Yeah, you jumped over it the first time. How? I hate this map so much. I'm having a lot of fun. I hate this map so much. Is this going to be the one day of recording where you give up before I do? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should go faster. I can't. You can't sprint. There's no sprint. I can't believe it. Oh, oh, you, wait, no! <laughs> are we gonna become rage tubers now? No, you are. I'm we... killing. Okay, safety. Are you still alive? <laughs> <laughs> So wait, they don't have enough money for security cameras, but they have enough money for infinite time travel. Yeah. I thought for sure they were going to make that vent unbreakable with the crowbar just to troll <laughs> us. Oh, hi. Come on. Why are you taking so long? I, I thought that was her talking. <laughs> I, I did too. How long is this? Oh. This is basically a jigsaw puzzle. It is designed to test your ability to react fast in certain situations. There are deadly lasers that will shred you to pieces if you don't complete the puzzle in time. You have two minutes. Good luck. Here's a royalty-free soundtrack. It will help you to relax while solving the puzzle. Oh, cool. This sounds like 2014 mahogany music. 
Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> so do you have to launch them up back to the sky? No, you have to, like, piece them together. Uh, I, I cannot do jigsaw puzzles while under the threat of death. Especially in only two minutes. What kind of ridiculous... Especially when royalty-free mahogany music is playing in okay, the background. Okay, why is this my fault? I can't do this. I don't... Can we skip this one? If you must. I I don't like meme maps. The Mountain View Inn. Well, uh, look out the window. I don't see no mountains. <laughs> There's literally nothing. <laughs> there, it's the barn view in. Yeah, we, we got rid of the mountains because we needed to raise some barns. Wait, is it your turn now? You can play this one since you didn't finish the last one. Are you sure? Yeah. Oranges. We're in Counter-Strike Source. Yeah, we've been known that. Been known that? Uh-huh. Uh -oh. Did she just say this isn't Suabway? I wasn't listening. Splits! That was pretty impressive. So, <laughs> you're probably right. Oh, back so soon? What? You left us down there! Thank you for playing. Okay. That was the subversion of expectation. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, like, basic compared to all the other ones. It's like, surprise, it's actually secret combine base. Okay, bye. You're in prison. Look at my bed. You always look away when stuff happens. Well, Gordon Freeman, and about time, too. I like how the the text on the screen does not match up with the dialogue. Hey man, voice actors are expensive and or this was made by someone that is too young to actually voice act because it would be hilarious if they tried. You're never too young to voice act. You're, you're just you're... too young for certain roles. Wait. Yeah, you're too young to voice act adults. So, the only thing blocking off this secret pistol was this wooden board propped up against the wall diagonally. Hey man, nobody Looking suspects wooden boards. Oh look! It's literally just... Oh my god. Completely ignores the random purple building. So they painted a little bit. Why... They don't have purple buildings in City 17. <laughs> Well, they do in this universe. That's the subversion of expectations. The subversion of expectations is that one building is they purple. Know <laughs> they discovered Home Depot and decided to purchase paint swatches. Are you ah! going to kill those guys? I thought they were... Okay, yeah, I can kill these guys. <laughs> Behind you. Behind, Behind you. Floor. Floor. Oh. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> what? Why did he, like, freaking football tackle the crates? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this guy has to catch his breath? Bro, we basically walked through there at a leisurely pace. Hey man, he had to tackle that deadly cardboard no, box. No, he didn't. He didn't have to do that. He chose to. The mapping is actually really well done on this map. Oh, uh, I like this one. It, it's more Half-Life Alex ah! than Half-Life 2, but it's still cool. Did you? How far did you get in Half-Life Alex? Uh, I didn't even make it to Jeff. Oh wow! You are the least covert prison escapee to have ever escaped from anywhere. We have to act. Hey, where's your buddy? You came into this courtyard to. Get... <laughs> The guards merely feigned their injuries. Oh, he didn't kill any of them, even though there was blood spurting out of him. What was he hoping for? The rebels would never trust a man with his background. They're terrorists, officer, 
and it's irrelevant. Even though unwittingly he helped us, he helped locate the criminal outpost. He has shown his worth. I believe he can be revitalized, reeducated, and even reintegrated into the orderly society. Take him. Sterilize the rest of the household. Okay, time out. <laughs> I don't think they meant that kind of sterilize. They meant combine definition of sterilize. Okay. Which just means kill everyone. Yeah.